Today we get to show you something incredibly special. This is a 2014, on a 14 registration, Porsche 911 991.1, so the first generation, GT3. It is two owners from new, which is incredibly rare because these cars do change hands very often. So most of the cars in the marketplace are three, four, five owners, and it's not unusual to have more. So a two owner car on a 2014 registration makes this very, very special indeed. It's covered 34,000 miles from new with a full Porsche main dealer service history. And it's finished in basalt black metallic with the full leather and Alcantara I believe it is the GTS interior pack. It's very similar to a GTS, but it's the Alcantara and, and leather combination inside with extended leather and contrast stitching in guards red. Now, we're gonna run you through some of the amazing details of this specific car, but let's hit you with the headline figures. The GT3 is 475 brake horsepower from a normally aspirated 3.8 liter, heavily reworked flat six, this car will do that brake horsepower. It will max out at that brake horsepower at 8,250 RPM. So it revs almost like a motorbike. It sings. It's the most beautiful sounding engine when it's on song. And these cars are as pure as they come. A comfort pack car, 18 way adjustable seats as well. We'll show you them when we get round. So a really amazing usable performance 911. Now we'll start at the front end. We'll show you around some of the features on the car. Obviously you've got this lovely extra intake or air escape, I suppose, on the nose of the car, signifying that it is a GT car. So most of Porsche's GT cars are fitted with something very similar. These lovely grills as well, they're very different to a standard 911 where a lot of the open, a lot of these lower radiator entries are open. You get these lovely metal mesh grills on the GT cars and this particular GT3 is the same, a really sporty finish and that huge front splitter that sticks out at the front of the car there as well. So there's no way you're ever confusing this with a standard 911. They are totally unique to look at. Darkened headlights, and these are the PDLS headlights, so they have got cornering function on them, and the darkened rear insert, I think, makes a massive difference, especially on a black car. Lots of cars you'll see in the market have silver inserts on the inside of the headlights, and you see that, and for me, it ages the car somewhat. I feel the car looks a lot younger, a lot more modern still when the insides of the headlights are darkened. Coming round the passenger side front corner, here's where the car again sort of steps itself away from the other cars in the market. What you are looking at is PCCB, Porsche Carbon Ceramic Braking. A really rare option on the GT3, not so rare on the GT3 RS, I believe it's standard on the GT3 RS, but there are a lot of cars in the market with steel brakes. This is a very expensive cost option and it's a really rare one. Very nice to have it on this particular GT3. This is, I don't know if I should have mentioned it at the beginning, but this is a very high specification example of one of these cars. The lovely GT3 center lock alloy wheels. I believe they are lightweight and forged. And then obviously really lovely, again, another differentiation between a standard 911 or Porsche range car and a GT range car. All GT cars have GT and their model variant on the center caps. All other types of Porsche manufacturing cars are just the Porsche logo in the center cap. So a really nice way to tell them apart there. The sports design mirrors with the lovely air intake there, the air escape in there at the bottom of the mirror. Again, letting you know that it is a sporty car. And then I'll open the door. If you bear with me a second, I'll grab the key. It should always help. I'll open the passenger side door and show you inside. And you can have a look at that incredible interior. Alcantara and leather all over the interior as you can see. That extended leather to the dashboard and the upper door cards, all in guards red. And then you probably saw there the GT3 logo stitched into the headrests of the cars. And now if we come around the back of the car, again, you're never mistaking this for a standard car. The GT3 has that enormous wing, that massive aerodynamic benefit on the back of it there, a fabulous looking thing. And then when we're looking down this side, look how wide the back of the car is. It's so, so impressive. 
and you think this car is a 2014 car, it feels, when you're up close to it and you're around it, it feels every bit as special now as I believe it probably did the day it was launched and the press started getting their hands on it. You know, these are so extreme compared to the predecessor in the 997. And again, some lovely air escapes, beautiful little mesh grills in the back there, so the detail is still everywhere. And then coming around the back, again, very GT3, center exhaust exits, two of them in the middle of the rear bumper around the diffuser section. And then all the Porsche logos and badging all finished in matte black as well. Coming around the driver's side, I'm gonna jump in the car. I'm gonna show you some more features that belong to this particular vehicle. And again, why this particular one is so special in our opinion. And we'll go through it as we shall see. So, illuminated aluminium door tread plates there, a really lovely feature. All brushed aluminium trims throughout the car. And then obviously over here, you've got your electric adjustable mirrors and your electric windows. And as I said, maybe five minutes ago, this is a comfort spec car. But what you've got is the comfort seats, but you've got the most expensive version of the comfort seats, 18 way adjustable sports seats. A really amazing feature. And it, it, it reminds you that the reason you buy a GT3 over a GT3 RS is because the GT3 is the car that you can drive much more regularly. You can take it on trips through Europe. You can do lots of mileage in these cars and be comfortable in them. They are not a solely hardcore track focused 911, whereas the RS obviously is far more weighted in that direction. So moving into the cabin, you can see some really lovely things from where you are. So extended leather all across the dashboard, the top of the dash there. You can see all around the speaker grills on top of the dashboard, there's contrast guards, red stitching, amazing detail. It even includes the side of the dashboard panel here. So a really rare thing to see. And then if I move the steering column out towards me, you're gonna see that that is also true of the steering column as well. Extended leather and contrast stitching all the way through the steering column. Amazing features in this car, a really, as I say, a really special example. Now I'll fire it up. I've got my foot on the brake and while I'm down there, before I turn it on, you're going to see the sports aluminium pedals. Again, a lovely cost option. Not, not a usual one, you don't see it on many cars. Car fires into life beautifully, as you'd imagine everything idles and then moving in you've got this wonderful Alcantara steering wheel it's the same steering wheel that you get in other 911s but it's been trimmed to make looks more sporty for the GT3 and you get this lovely little center divide to let you know where the center point is in the steering wheel very race car-esque down here you've got cruise control again a lovely feature being that this car is a comfort pack car it makes a massive difference and obviously these beautiful paddles on the back of the steering wheel the center console in front of me, you have all the speedos and everything, all the controls on the right hand side in this little screen here are controlled via this little stick on the side. So you've got all your tire pressure monitoring, your sports chrono lap timer because this car has sports chrono pack plus, your G-force sensors, your torque maps, and then obviously all your oil temperatures and oil pressure. So everything you need to drive one of these vehicles. Moving across the car, as I mentioned, sports chrono pack plus, lovely there with the clock finished in white, which I think is beautiful. And then coming down to the sat nav screen, full Bluetooth and Bluetooth streaming capabilities, inbuilt navigation with the touch screen, exactly as you would imagine. If I go to the map, that should pull up. Dual zone climate control, heated seats for both the front seats. Again, this is a comfort pack car, really important. The lovely GT3 sports design gear stick, which I think is amazing with these fabulous two lines that sit around the gear tunnel, which I think is a really lovely feature. You don't see that on any other type of Porsche vehicle. Sports exhaust, the options keep coming. And then the one button below it is extremely important. Front lifting system. So if I press this button, you will see the front of the car. It now says front of vehicle raised. It is incredibly fast. It's an amazing system, very Porsche. You need it on speed bumps. You need that in London, anywhere you're driving in town, a really important feature. And I'd probably need the door shut for it to lower the vehicle. So what I'll do is I'll just shut the door. And hopefully if you're looking at it, you'll see it now. The front end lowers. Very, very effective, a really lovely cost option. Not many of them have it. I would say it's an absolute must have on one of these cars. Coming down the center console again, you've got your traction control buttons, your PDK button, which will change the gearbox into a higher performing button. 
your PASM over here, which is your Porsche Active Suspension Management, which is your dampers that you can adjust, and then Alcantara everywhere. Alcantara roof lining, Alcantara central lid on the glove box control here, and then obviously you've got power outlets, everything that you need to drive one of these cars. And what I'll do is I'll switch it off, I'll jump out, and I'll summarize this really special car for you. And one thing that we didn't really mention previously is given the wheelbase of the car, it is standard on all 991 GT3s, but they are all fitted with rear axle steering. So these wheels will turn the opposite direction. The rear wheels will turn the opposite direction to the front when you turn into a corner to give the car more stability in high speed and better turning circles and turning angles in low speed. So a pure piece of driving engineering this being the comfort pack car with, in my opinion, one of the highest specifications that you can get available in today's market. A very rare two owner car with a full Porsche main dealer service history. So my name is Matthew. I hope this video has helped. Thank you for watching.